Welcome to the IHSA 4A Girls Volleyball State Championship featuring two state powerhouses. The Bennett Academy Red Wings find themselves in the championship match for the seventh time in school history and are eyeing state title number five. Across the net is other powerhouse Mother Macaulay, who has 15 state championships to their name, but the last first place finish came in 2016. Red Wings get off to a solid start and super freshman Lenny Tarno continues her assault with a nice kill to put BA up by three. The kill fest keeps going at Redbird Arena and here's Red Wing senior Gabi Hostiniskis letting the ball get down to make it 8-4 wings. The Mighty Max fell in the championship last season to Matia Valley, so Michigan commit Ellie White puts that behind her and denies a kill attempt, and it's a 15-12 deficit. Max trailed by as much as six points in the first set, but now they're only down by one. So can they tie it up? At first, Bennett avoids a disaster, but that gives Ellery Reese a chance to put some firepower on the ball and tie things up at 17. Now can they take the lead? They get a reset chance, and after the setback, it's Jill Moonen showing her hops, and this gives Mother Macaulay a 19-18 edge. But Tarno is doing what she can to help the Red Wings stay in it, and this kill cuts the Macaulay lead to two. Set point on the rise with the Mighty Max in front. Red Wings want to keep the set going, but it's White with the kill for herself, and Mother Macaulay wins set one 25-21. White has over 500 kills on the season, and this one right here is no surprise, and it breaks a tie. Time for a win or go home scenario for the Wings, so they need some momentum, and they get it thanks to a Kirsten Kramer kill. It's still a pretty big deficit, so they roll the dice again with this round for Ava Novak, and it works for the kill, but still trail by five. They keep inching closer, and guess who's there for another kill? Yep, it's Tarno again, and the wings are down by two. Finally, Bennett is in full control and holds a 17-16 lead, although they're not pleased, and neither is any Eschenbach. With a long rally on the court, Audrey Asleeson sets up the six foot four senior who hits that ball with authority and increases the team lead. Now it's set point time for Bennett and Staniscus keeps the season alive. One set to go in the girls volleyball season presented by a Red Wing 25-17 set to win. However, Mother Macaulay will not allow a 2021 repeat and this block by Reese puts them on a 6-1 run. Bennett tries to stop the run, so up to the net goes Eschenbach and Asleeson for the block. They trail 10-5. They are doing everything they can to catch up with the Max, and here's another kill from Novak. Although it was too much Macaulay as White ends the season with an ace, and the mother Macaulay Mighty Max are your 4A Girls Volleyball State Champions. This is their 16th state title and third under head coach Jen DeGerald. For the Red Wings, this is their eighth state trophy, all under Brad Baker. I think so much success and tradition is in our school, um, and I think just winning this is incredible. I mean, the success we've had throughout the season is just, it's like no other. I mean, we've done it all together. I want to be able to do this without my teammates, and I just think our chemistry and our energy is what got us through that. It's really hard to get here, um, and it's hard to understand, you know, how special it is to end your career and get to play on this court twice. Um, tonight, obviously, not the result that we want, but I'm so proud of how far this team has come this year, you know, from where they started, and hopefully, hopefully two weeks from now, a month from now, you know, they're going to look back and remember all the good times this weekend and not just the result of this. I am extremely proud of this team, you know. We were all kind of together last year, besides the incoming freshmen that we love and adore. So, like playing another season all together, it was just like one last run. And I'm really proud of how far we came and that we were able to make it to the championships. Despite the outcome, I think that I'm still really happy with everything. I'm happy that I played with these girls, my best friends. 
I'm definitely just gonna miss the girls the most. They became my best friends so quickly. We have an amazing, amazing coaching staff. I'm definitely gonna miss the coaches as well. But just the tradition we have here is something I'll never forget, and I'll never forget this experience. I mean, it was a really good experience, and I'm glad to have it. And it was just, I'm really excited, and I couldn't be, I honestly couldn't be more proud of my team and how our season went. And I think, I mean, we came short at the end, but overall it was a pretty good season, and no one really thought we would get this far. So I think we did a good job.